Hey everyone, this is Mike with Baseball Connect and we're gonna be talking about XFIP in this video. So far on our journey of learning about advanced pitching metrics, we have learned about the flaws of ERA and why FIP might be a more useful tool for predicting future performance. Now it's time to take it a step further by diving into expected fielding independent pitching, otherwise known as XFIP. We know that fielding independent pitching is a measurement of a pitcher's ability to influence the three true outcomes, home runs, strikeouts, and walks. FIP takes out the random nature of balls put in play and leaves us with a more accurate indicator of how many runs a pitcher should have given up. But there is still one problem. In the same way that pitchers of varying skill levels have limited control over whether balls in play land for hits or outs, they similarly have limited control over whether fly balls become home runs. This is the main methodology behind XFIP another member of the defensive independent pitching statistics category. While XFIP still accounts for the same three true outcomes, it normalizes a pitcher's home run per fly ball percentage. Home run per fly ball percentage for individual pitchers tends to regress to the league average over time. League home run to fly ball rates show more predictable trend lines, usually between 10% on the low end to 15% on the high end year over year. But as far as individual pitchers are concerned, this number can vary greatly. By using the league average home run per fly ball percentage in its calculation, it makes sense to remove the variability and further isolate the skills that pitchers have the most control over, their ability to get strikeouts and limit walks. XFIP is represented by the following equation. XFIP differs from FIP by using league average home run per fly ball percentage to remove variability that might throw off our analysis of a pitcher's performance in a given year. Using this metric, we focus on elements that a pitcher can control to better analyze their skill set. It's important to understand the reasoning behind how and why we use each of these advanced metrics so we can use them in conjunction with one another.